Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're gonna be making bug habitats. So we are busy, busy, busy right now, building tons of habitats, be able to put cool animals in them and put them into our brand new insect zoo here at the Butterfly Biosphere. Check this out. This is an awesome habitat that we just made for giant African millipedes. We've got everything they need to be happy in there. We've got food, we've got shelter, lots of soil to dig around and it's nice and humid and they are gonna be happy as can be. Now that is an amazing habitat for millipedes. But one of my favorite things to do as a kid was to go in my own backyard, roll over rocks and logs, find cool little bugs and make habitats at home and put them in there. Now it's not actually that hard to make a habitat that is like this and it doesn't have to be that complex to be a happy, healthy home for a little bug. So the first thing you're gonna need is just something to put the habitat in. I always use mason jars or deli cups when I was a kid. This is a critter carrier, you can get this at any pet store and this makes a nice little habitat. Next thing you need is some kind of substrate. Now, whatever habitat you find that animal in is probably gonna be the perfect habitat for your little critter. So if you're going into your own backyard, just pick up some dirt and put it in the bottom. So I'm just gonna use some soil. Put it in there and voila. Put some soil in like that. Mist it down and you're pretty much good to go. So just like you and me and your pets at home, you want a nice warm place to sleep, but you're gonna get hungry eventually. And if you feel frightened, you want somewhere to feel safe. So what we're gonna do is just take some leaves and some sticks, add some structure for these things to hide in. That's very important. And then a lot of the things you'll be finding in your backyard are herbivores. So just take some lettuce or some sweet potato, put it in there like that. And now you've got pretty much everything you need for your little critters to be happy. But if you wanna make this a really world-class next level habitat, let me show you how to do it. It's super easy. Stop by a nursery, just grab a little plant, stick it in here like this and build up the soil around it. And then you can buy some moss and other things like that. Get it nice and wet and kind of just chuck it around like that. And there you go. Now that really looks like a forest floor and the things that you find in your backyard are gonna love it in there. All right, well that does it. We've got an awesome habitat. Now we gotta go find something to put in it. Let's go outside and see what we can find. So when you're looking for bugs and Utah is a phenomenal place to try to find bugs, what you wanna do is get low because that's where you're gonna find a lot of the bugs. So get down close to the ground, look up really close, peel back the leaves. If you find a rock or a log like that, that's a gold mine. Check this out. And look at that, beautiful little roly-poly, one of my favorite backyard bugs. And this thing would be right at home in the habitat that we made inside of our own home. Let's take it back inside and give it a new home. All right, so that does it. We've got our roly-polies. We've got an awesome habitat for them. Let's put them in there. They're gonna love it. There you go, little guy. All right, so that's all there is to it, guys. You've got an awesome habitat. You've got some new free pets to hang out with you at home. And if you like what you saw here today, like the video. If you like the video that much, share it with your friends. Subscribe so you can see more awesome videos like this in the future. And if this sparked interest and questions, leave a comment down below. We'll get to it when we can, or just show up in person. I can't wait to show you all of our cool animals here at the Butterfly Biosphere. We'll see you next time.